take it away. Cool. There's some like, uh, cool. So I'm going to be, I'm Isaac. Um, I work at Owen Labs on MENA protocol. I'm going to be talking about SnarkyJS. So a little bit of backstory. Snarky is an OCaml embedded DSL, um, which used in production um, in MENA. Um, Snarky.js is an in-development uh, JavaScript and TypeScript framework, which is based on Snarky. And um, just to start kind of who is Snarky.js for, um, if you're a developer who wants to write either like a privacy preserving application where the end user will prove some statement to you know, protect the privacy of some of their data, or kind of uh, roll up for scale where maybe some kind of third party roll up operator proves, then this you know, is a good tool for you. And, um, and also there's very tight integration with SNAPs, which are kind of our smart, private smart contracts on MENA. Um, so, you know, it's kind of the, the best choice for that as well. Um, so some of the design principles, uh, you know, back to the history, um, uh, Snark uses OCaml and we, we uh, you know, there's one problem with OCaml, which, well, I think OCaml is great writing OCaml, but uh, most people don't know OCaml. So, um, that's kind of a really big barrier to entry. And so, um, principle number one is like, don't make the user learn a new programming language, um, just to keep the barrier to entry as low as possible. Um, then number two, like a related principle is like, don't make the user learn new tools. Um, and three, <laughs> somehow provide a first class developer experience with like really good IDE support, a web prover for, you know, user facing apps like dark forest or like other privacy preserve want to write um package management oh yeah and package management okay and so i'm going to talk about some of the features like in our roadmap um and then i'm going to give a, a brief demo I'm, I'm going really fast I, I guess that's fine i don't know we'll have a lot of time for questions so that'll be cool um so uh right so features is already implemented it's like a kind of fastest in class it's not it, I, you know, Halo two maybe uh, it's very similar. I, it's kind of a question. I I don't know, but head to head comparison. Maybe we can talk about it. Um, that has general purpose tooling. So there's no setup for our Snark. This is like our pickles plunk um, Snark. Um, very fast recursion. So much faster than um, you would see in a system like um, like Zinc system or ASIC uh, system um, because we have sort of the cycle of curves thing going on. Um, and like a library of, of uh, cryptographic primitives, hash function signatures, integers, all that good stuff. Um, also very good tooling. Why? Because it's just TypeScript slash JavaScript. So um, uh, we're, we plan to have soon a was improver. Um, IDE support that kind of just works right out of the box, packaging via NPM, obviously, um, or whatever JavaScript packaging solution you like. Um, and then of course, seamless integration with JavaScript and TypeScript applications have a web app that has that uses snarks like this is a super easy way to go um, and also uh, integration with the mina snaps sdk so for super easy development on top of mina so um that's kind of it for the talk part and then i'm going to do a little demo just of what it looks like um because i didn't show you anything about what it looks like um but uh here's some links um, and i'll put a, a link to the slideshow in the chat so you can get all these links but if you're interested in like you know, providing feedback or job, please like go to this interest form. If you want to check out the GitHub, there it is. And then if you want to join the MENA Discord where you can come talk about um, Snarky.js or MENA or whatever, there it is. So let me um, now, let's see, put this slideshow in the chat. Cool. So that's there. Um, and now let me show you what it looks like. So this is, um, an application, basically a smart contract, um, a snap for Mina, which does uh, kind of private two out of N multi-sig. So what do I mean by that? Um, it will be an account which has, you know, a balance and which uh, for which the authorization is like multi-sig. Um, there's like some set of keys that, ha you know, have to sign. And if you have signatures from any two of N of them or any two of them, then you can send a transaction. And we want it to work such that it's private, so like it doesn't reveal who the signers were, who, which two. Um, so uh, it's super easy to do. Um, I'll just kind of go uh, like top down or whatever. Um, 
first of all, you know, to define a smart contract, you just sort of define a class that extends this snap base, base class. Um, uh, and then the send function, let's check that out. So you have to provide some data associated to the send and that'll basically have what are the, oops, what are the signatures that you, that you actually have, the amount, the fee, the nonce in the account and the receiver. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, and uh, yeah, basically, you know, all you have to do is kind of iterate all over all the signatures and uh, and basically verify them. Okay, so um, uh, let's, you know, just kind of, a, this is a smart contract, but like just for kind of one-to-one -one, uh, circuit kind of stuff, let's look at what signature verification looks like. Um, so you can see like the ID supports awesome, right? So it's like signature.verify takes the signature as the this, takes a public key, um, a message, and returns to blue. Um, so, so here's a signature. Um, this is how define it. This is basically a Schnorr signature, which is kind of based on this scheme here. Okay, from BIP something, 340. Um, the verification uh, algorithm is really easy to write. Um, so uh, you basically, Take the message. I, it's really just a, if you just. I, I encourage you to like go and look at this afterwards and just like look at how it compares to this because it's it's really uh, really simple um, and really kind of one to one. So it's basically hash the message, un unpack it into bits, and then do you know uh, group generator times s, which is part of the signature, plus uh, like negative the public key times this hash value e. Okay, so really couldn't get more straightforward than that. And then you just check whether um, the x coordinate of this R of this group group is equal to the R in the signature, and also whether the y coordinate is even. Okay, super simple. And let me just kind of like show off the IDE support. So there's full like autocomplete and stuff. So oops. So like so like we have the signature. We can be like this dot R. Okay, it's a field element, and then I can do you know see all the methods that are available on field elements. Check if it's zero. Oops. Uh, check if it's zero. You know invert it, uh, whatever you like, you know, add, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And uh, the ID support's really great. Like there's doc comments and stuff like, okay, so like I can hover over, oh yeah, I have a group. Like what group is it? Okay, there's a doc comment here. It's the palace curve from uh, ECC team. You can check it out, um, go to the link, you know. Um, the field, you might be wondering, oh, what's with that field? Oh, it says, oh, it's an element of the pasta FP field. So, uh, you know, nice documentation functionality there. Um, so uh, that's just kind of a taste, but uh, yep, that explains things. I don't know if there's, it looks like there's no questions. So I, I don't know. Are there any questions? Did you, did you have a, earlier, we had been talking about one of your colleagues joining. Does that person want to? Oh yeah. On? Yeah. Matt, do, do you want to join? I mean, it's, it seems like there's no questions, so I don't know if, <laughs> Matt, Matt was going to join to help with questions, so. Okay, Patrick asked, do you have any prover time benchmarks? Um, this, this is before some ongoing optimization. optimization. This is like, oh, cool. Matt, so this, this is kind of like, like with um, the, yeah, it's so awesome to <laughs> know questions, okay, maybe. Um, so with the current setup, um, I think something like, 200,000, like on my laptop, probably like something like 250,000, you know, whatever that power of two is to 260 something thousand constraints is like on my laptop, that's probably like 10 seconds, something like that. Um, I have kind of a beefy laptop, but you know, um, Wasm TBD. Um, and yeah, I can also, I can remember offhand that like there's some overhead. So like, I remember like, like a 2000 con constraint proof is something like, uh, like it's less than, a, it's like 500 milliseconds or 200, 200 milliseconds or something like that. Um, so IDE support. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's totally free. Like we don't have to do anything. Cause it's like, like, okay. So Matthew is like one of the best programmers I've ever known. <laughs> and, you know, we spent some time like trying to, you know, like we a few years ago we like made a dsl it was like it was really cool actually and um uh but then it's like okay now you have a dsl like w there's no editor support there's no nothing typescript is kind of wonky but like there's literally thousands of hours whole people's lives whole people's lives <laughs> invested in you know making the tooling and, and everything really awesome 
so yeah, we just pick, piggyback on that. Okay, I want to I want to ask the question actually. So the full question was 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 it easy to achieve by piggybacking on the JS TS machinery, or do you have anything special to Snarky JS? So the only special things are these like uh, decorators, basically, which um, you know are necessary to let the circuit know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know how else to say. Um, but it's it, as you can see, it's pretty natural, right? You just kind of like whatever property you have on your objects, you just like say prop. And then it makes it kind of uh, possible to use, okay, what's a circuit value? It's a value that can be used as a witness in a circuit. Okay, 